Social media. Huge topic, isn't it? Social media. When I was a kid growing up, there was an oil filter company called Fram, F-R-A-M. They were an orange filter. You used to change your oil every 5,000 miles or so. You put a new filter on. I'll never forget their slogan, and it's extremely apropos for each and every one of you out there. Fram's commercial ended with, pay me now or pay me later, but you're going to pay me. So you either put in a $10 or $5 or whatever it was at the time, oil filter, or you let it go and go and go as you do with a child until they're maybe past the point. And then you got major problems. In a car, you may have to go for a complete motor. Pay me now or pay me later. What do we do with it? I know that I came from a generation where there was very little of it. So we didn't know any better. Now that I've gotten into a lot more of it, I understand it. And now possibly I can make a parallel here where I go, I saw what I had, I saw what I did, I saw what they have today, or I'm looking at what they have today and I'm wondering what they're doing. Yes, technologically improved, medically, educationally, all types of business and whatever. But what are we doing with the children? What are we doing with the kids? Where's the interaction? We've got our heads stuck, our eyes down toward what? An iPhone or an iPad or whatever device. And what are we watching? Could be homework, but could also be something that's not good for us. How do our parents know? Are we making friends? Are we going out and making friends? In our time, God, we used to play football and baseball in the street. Get a stick, get a ball, guys got a glove or two, and baseball team. Today, I don't see any kids playing. I wonder why that is. Let me tell you where I think it starts. I think it starts in the home. Truly, I think it starts right in the home, mom and dad, or whatever your situation is. Who is teaching? Who is learning? You know, these kids could be extremely brilliant today, brilliant, brilliant, but could they pass an interview? Could they have a conversation? Could they look you in the eye? Could they shake your hand with authority? Could they not look down but straight ahead? Why am I asking you this? Because as much as technology is a crucial factor in our society, so is something else that I don't think is intentionally being forgotten, but I see it being forgotten. Interpersonal skills. Where are they? Oh, I'm sure there are some. There are many. Percentages-wise, I'm sure there are less than half, just from my experience. Why? As I said before, it starts with the mom and dad. What are you doing when they come to the dinner table? Are all screens off? Is there an area where you shut them down, turn them off? Put them aside, you don't use them. And what you do is you talk. Father talks to mother, mother talks to child, child talks to father, and you have communications. Maybe there's a grandfather, grandmother there, who knows? I don't know what your situation is. But where is the eye contact back and forth? Where is the questions from them? to you, from you to them. Asking things such as, how's it going in school? How are your teachers? 
How are your friends? Dad, how's your job going? Grandpa, you're going to be 70 tomorrow. Mom, don't worry about it. Being a housewife is beautiful. Where is this kind of conversation? Very, very little. Again, I'm going to go for the third time. Starts from the top. My case started from my mom and dad. Yours should be the same, unless mom and dad really don't have the skills to do it. Mom and dad should be very much aware of it at a very, very early age. And when I say early, I mean early. In this world, early. Two years old is late. When you call them, I'm not telling you to command them. They should hear you or come or answer you. If they continue to do it, you might be going down a path you don't want to. Or you may decide that you see things in your child that you don't like. But now the child is 15, 16. Could they be corrected? Yes. But I'm going to tell you this from experience in doing what I do here going to be a hell of a lot harder. You guys better give some thought to it. I'm very serious. Thank you for listening. You like it? Subscribe.